It's another beautiful day in Ghana here with the city of Oswald Agric Enterprise and we are happy to walk you through beans farming here in Ghana. Mr. Bwashi, welcome. Thank you, madam. Okay, so how long have you been to beans farming? Uh, for almost five years now. Almost five years, good. That means you have a lot of experience. Oh, yes. Okay, so before a new farmer go into beans farming, what are some factors that he or she needs to consider before going to beans farming or cowpea production in Ghana? Um, cowpea um, production is uh, simple because the maturity period is just two months. And cowpea, the demand is very high. Because in Ghana here, we have a popular food called gobe. <laughs> as soon as you hear gobe, then cowpea will come in or beans. Okay. Cowpea is very good. And the production too is not um, difficult and it's not time consuming and it's not all that expensive like other crops. Oh, okay. Okay, so what are some factors that a new farmer should consider before going to cowpea? production in Ghana here factors to consider when going into cowpea um, it's like all other factors okay. so far as um, crop production is concerned. We, we have some questions that you have to ask when you want to go into farming or you want to go into cowpea production or any um, crop production. Okay. Um, what to produce, mm. when to produce, okay. how to produce and where to produce. All right. They are very le legitimate and important questions that you have to ask yourself before. Okay. So um, let's talk about mm. how to produce. So when to produce let's start from what what okay. to produce okay now uh, we're choosing to go into cowpea okay that is what we are going to produce okay then where to produce you talk about the land and land selection is very important in cowpea production because in ghana um now we have almost 16 regions all right it's only about few regions that you can succeed in cowpea production okay if you go cowpea in other regions not that the cowpea will not be nice but will not bear fruits mm -hmm. yes because cowpea need a uh, land with less nitrogen okay so that that means that it doesn't need a fertile soil or no the loamy soil is not good for cowpea production oh okay because cowpea itself is a nitrogen mm -hmm. unlike maize and rice that it need a lot of nitrogen okay cowpea need a sandy or um a soil but let me say hard soil a soil with no low um um, um Nit nitrogen mm -hmm. or loamy soil is not too much loamy if mm -hmm. you do that it will, it will bear a lot of leaves a lot of can canopy but it cannot bear fruits oh okay yeah okay. so now you talk about ghana here some regions that uh cowpea does well there or do well there what are the regions we can talk of um bono east region from techuba and kranza atibubu and part of ashanti region Ejura, getting to the northern part okay that and the three northern region savannah mm -hmm. all areas you can grow cowpea cowpea there. yeah but when you come down a forest is a forest bed cowpea is not good oh okay. yeah so i think you were We've talked about the the type of land and the type of um the, the location right yes okay then after you get those um places or those answers what are the next thing that i need to consider again? that's the word to produce the type of seed okay that you are going to produce mm -hmm. in cowpea too we have a lot of variety of seeds okay but their name is a local name mm -hmm. we have one that um just uh, was uh, like harvested about two weeks ago okay they call that one ifro ifro <laughs> ifro no is it is what is a type of um cowpea variety uh you see when you go to market mm -hmm. you see a lot of cowpea you have some white very big mm -hmm. white black eye mm -hmm. white brown eye uh white smallish one and we have even a red and brown one okay so we have a lot of varieties right. and they are all good mm -hmm. for consumption okay yeah but um one thing about a variety of cowpea is that the more the seed is white and nice the higher the price oh okay so when you go to market you see that the white and the bigger um cowpea with the black eye mm. the price is wow. higher big ones the price is higher than the medium one mm. and the medium one too the price is higher than the smaller one okay. yeah that is uh, how it moves so that means that if i want to go into commercial farming which one should i choose as a new farmer yes you have to choose um the one i'm talking about the bigger, one. the bigger ones or the medium ones okay and okay i know maize we have hybrid and local seeds do we also have the same thing in oh cowpea? yes cowpea we have hybrid but the hybrid is not common in fact all the places in ghana that we are doing hybrid the local ones because it's just two months other hybrid or um, um local bit the maturity period is two months oh, okay yeah okay so yeah. mostly it is the mostly local is the local one, one uh, yeah oh, okay Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So once you get your seed, now you get your land, you get your seed. Okay. And then you um, you talk about the nutrient level. Okay. You see, in cowpea, it's not like other um, crop like maize. Plant nutrient, which is uh, ampicus, is not applicable in cowpea. Okay. That's why I'm saying that the cost is also low because it produces a lot of nitrogen. Cowpea, you need not to apply ampicus. Oh, okay. So what do you need to apply? Cowpea, we don't apply any fertilizer. In nothing? In the worst situation, you can use um, foliar fertilizer. That's the liquid one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, what? how do we do the planting? The planting of cowpea is like maize. Mostly, we use brown land mm. because I've already said that uh, cowpea, the loamy soil, too much loamy soil is no good for okay. cowpea. Okay. So for the land preparation, this is what, how it goes. You mm. prepare your land. Have you seen? Like, um, so the should it be clean like this? Yes. Okay. If you want to go into um, commercial farming, mm. this is how it's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, you plow, you can be plow and harrow. Okay. Yes. So after you prepare your land, then the methods of planting, like maize, cowpea, we normally do broadcasting method. Okay. Yes, because the nature of the seed. Okay. And also because you are not going to apply fertilizer, mm. when you do broadcasting, um, it's good. Although you can use uh, roots and column and plant, it will be very good. Okay. Yeah. But uh, if the farm is very big, it will take a lot of time. Mm. Yes. That is why at times we use um, broadcast method in cowpea. Do you do the broadcasting before plowing? Yes. It's a very good question. You do broadcast before you plow. When you go through this, um, let me show you a video share. A video here. You see a gentleman. Have you seen? Yeah. This is the broadcasting that he's doing. Mm. This is a um, simple manual machine. Okay. That you put the um, cowpea inside the machine. It's a battery one. Okay. So when you press on, then the machine will start spreading the, the seed. The seed. Oh. So you not use your hand to broadcast. Oh, okay. So this simple machine. Have you seen the way it's go? Have you mm, seen? Yeah. So he's broadcasting the. The seed. the seed once it's broadcasting the seed at the same time to the tractor will also be plowing the land okay yes so when you look through this, this video after the gentleman we broadcast the copy mm. you see the tractor too is plowing okay. in the land oh, okay yeah so Won't the sand be too much on the seed one thing about copy is very serious everywhere that the copy will fall no matter how deep six even oh. six inches or five inches it will germinate let us by four days oh, yes okay. So that is that is how the land preparation and the uh, methods of planting goes. Yes, okay. uh, you can go other broadcast method, mm. or you can use rows and columns to plant. Okay. So what mm. if I choose the rows and columns? What should be the distance? Uh, the, 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 the distance should be close. It should be. You can use the main one, but this one, 50 by 25 centimeters, should be good. Oh, okay. Yes, and the spacing to be more than two foot because cowpea have a lot of canopy. Okay. Yes, so if the spacing is right to cover the land. Okay, so after planting, what next? What happened? After planting, after 20 days, mm -hmm. 20 days after germination, mm -hmm. you have to apply weed control or um, pest control is very important. Okay. Depending on the type of land. Mm -hmm. If you plow the land where as it has shown here, yeah. it will take a long, a long time before the weeds come. Okay. Yes, but at least two weeks after germination, when you see the weed, mm -hmm. you can start the weed control. Okay. But the pest control will start after 20 days and you use a chemical called Lambda. Okay. Uh, lambda is an You see, cowpea, all the challenges based on the a pest, pest control because you attract a lot of pests, insects, and worms. Mm. If you are not careful, about three, four days they will destroy everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how often should you apply the pesticide? After twenty days, we start the uh, we start uh, applying the first pest control and use a chemical called lambda. Lambda. And yeah, so it, how often should it that be? If you do that one, maybe after twenty days, when you see a first flower. Mm -hmm. After 20 days, by all means, you see a first flower. Okay. And then, yeah, then you spray the first one with lambda. Mm -hmm. Then, um, the next week, mm -hmm. one week time to you spray. But when it start bearing fruit, every three or four days, you have to spray, depending on the time. Okay. You see, for uh, cowpea, we have two seasons. Mm. We have the major one, which will start for that one. The, the cowpea major one comes even before April. Okay. When you get rains, even February or March, mm. you can start your first season okay and for that one because uh it uh, to be raining when um it start bearing fruits mm -hmm. the insects 
the pest control is not all that difficult but the minor season the second one okay. which will start around september uh -huh. and you have us around maybe um october november uh -huh. that is where the pest control is very serious for that, that one every three days every three days you have to spray oh, okay you have to use different um active okay. ingredients mm -hmm. or different chemicals to Aside spray the lambda yes the lambda is the first one okay so the second spray you can go with maybe um sanhol tree lambda sanhol tree plus copelphos mm -hmm. they are all uh, uh, active ingredients oh, okay yes okay. yeah so we have a lot of uh, cow pea uh, insecticide that we use to okay. we use to spray all right. so when you get to this stage this is the full stage eh? mm -hmm. after 20 days mm -hmm. 30 to 40 days this is how it's supposed to be okay so when Did it sees something, yeah, something like this and when it reach this stage mm -hmm. that's where the spring is very important mm -hmm. because from this stage it will come to this stage mm -hmm. second stage this okay. is my farm at uh, a table oh okay uh, i harvested wow. just last two weeks wow yes so we'll be coming for our share oh, for that one, no problem and so when we continue <laughs> i want to say happy father's day to all the experts in the house if you have father in watching me we are saying a big happy father's day to you mr Bachi. happy father's day thank you okay let's continue yes. So when I reach this particular stage that I'm showing, if you are not careful, we have some worms mm -hmm. and we have this uh, frying insects. Okay. Yeah, they suck the cow pee. Okay. So wow. cow pee, the pest control is very, very important. Very if you important. dodge anything, because there is no fertilizer application, mm -hmm. so you spend more time in the pest controlling control, the controlling pest. the pest. Oh, okay. yeah. What about the weed control? The weed control too, so we have herbicides for um, cow pee. Okay. okay. Yes, and that so one too. You cannot use the one you use for maize for cow. Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot use the one. Because the one you use for the maize, when you use for this one, it will kill the house. Okay. That's why we have a salative for a uh, cow pee. Oh, okay. Yes, and that salative too. Um, after 20 days, mm. for the salative, weed control, normally you don't have a specific date because you just monitor the leaves. When you see that the weeds are competing, with the crop for this instance for the cowpea mm -hmm. then you apply the herbicides the weed control herbicide okay. the, this one the sedative one mm -hmm. and we have a, lo a lot of sedative herbicides for cowpea okay in the market that you can use to control okay. the weeds okay so then what happened after you finish with your uh, weed control your pest control Oh, the next one, in the, you are moving to harvesting stage because it's just a two months. Oh, okay, this is very simple. Yes, it's a very, it's a two months. That's why I'm saying that cowpea. From if you see, if you see cowpea like this, for by the next week that you come, if you see, if you reach this stage, but the following that you go, you see that all this thing have started drying. That means the maturity period oh. is up. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So now let's go to the harvesting. How do we harvest it? Harvesting of. So it takes approximately two months. Two That's months. Sixty days or sixty. Yes, days. sixty. Yeah, sixty. sixty, days. sixty days two days yeah oh, okay and uh, so how do you do the harvesting do you do it manually or have a machine that do the harvesting for you yeah cowpea um, harvesting is in two stages okay and uh, you harvest and then you share okay and cowpea is just recently that we are getting some sharing machine mm. because that is where the problem lies got the uh, um be, be, because it bears a lot of fruit one cowpea you can get about 120 fruit on just one cowpea okay so the harvesting too is tedious mm. but we have this our women who always help us okay so this one is more of manual manual yeah you can use um this uh, we have combined but how cowpea is more of manual harvesting oh, okay so when they harvest the cowpea then they gather the cowpea like this mm. they gather it like this okay have you see yeah so for this one is if it's not the it's not in the commercial farming that you cannot use seller then they have to beat this one okay they put in a sack a sack or just on the you beat they use uh, sticks mm. to beat the cowpea okay so all the seed will fall under mm. then they remove the treasures and nowadays we, we are lucky enough that we have this um seller machine for cowpea mm. so this is how it operates oh, okay uh you put the cowpea inside the machine mm -hmm. and the machine will share the cowpea have you see oh Okay. This one will select the big one and the small one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> so we select the big one. This one I, I just hide it. Okay. So when they do one bag, it's a uh, 40 series also. Have you seen what they're dealing? Oh, and this okay. one is very simple. Oh, okay. You see the way it's moving. So it's growing cowpea is very, it's very simple. Yeah, it's very simple. Know. Yeah, it's very okay. simple. Okay. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Thank you too. This vital information. Like we said, we have the coconut farmland plus um plantain farmland available so if you are interested you want to go into
coconut farm or any other farm you can get in touch with me and we will take you through the process also if you have any question let us know that in the comment section it takes us a lot of energy to produce a video so if you want to support us too you can let us know and we'll be leaving our contact on the screen mr Bwachi contact will be on the screen my contact will be on the screen in the description section if you want any consultation on agriculture you can get in touch with him and he will to help you with that so in the next video we are going to talk about the cost involved starting beans farming or cowpea farming and the profit you stand to make starting cowpea farming so make sure you stay tuned to this channel so that you don't miss that information we have a lot of questions we need to answer step by step make sure you follow up so that we answer your questions for you we'll see you in the next video